Um, what are we up to today? Peeling some uh, fence posts. Well, it's hot and a little too hot to do any work on the actual fence. Yes, we had best of intentions, but we went and got hay this morning. And after putting that away and going to get gas for the tractor, it is now hot. So into the shade we go to work on some of our barbaric, as I pointed out earlier in a different video. Um, log peeling. Um, handy dandy. Paint scrapers. Paint scrapers. Works pretty well. These are uh, drywall spatula thingies. These are white cedar uh, logs. So, and they've been cut at least for a couple of months, maybe more. Yeah. Uh, so they're peeled relatively easily, but uh, like you can see some of the bark's already uh, Um But basically, this one's going to peel without paint scraper. And we're basically just peeling the outer bark. So we're not wasting any of the bark. We've been using it as mulch around our trees and in our garden, on pathways. We, how many posts did we purchase? Hundred and. Lot. 130 wood posts, so it creates a lot of mulch. A lot of mulch. We still have quite a few left to peel. We've probably only peeled about 65 or so, but we're just now starting to go to the back to do our uh, fence. So they're going to go quite quick when we get back there doing long stretches and bracing and everything else. So basically, pretty simple. Spatula has got a nice, wonderful, sharp, pointy bit. Put it in, peel her out, and peel it off. And we this do. One, uh, this one kind of is peeling on its own. So yeah. You know, need it, but this one is obviously example. an older one that's been sitting for a while. The next one probably won't be, so we'll video some of that one so you can see when it's hard. Want to roll it over? Yeah. Which way you roll it? Towards you. That went too far for me, but it's okay. Um, a lot of people ask why we were peeling the posts. Why not just leave the bark on? But they basically last better if you peel them. Yeah, last better. We also find I think you have less chance of their fence staples coming out. Um, when you got that layer of bark, eventually it rots, and then the fence becomes loose and staples. Um, wow, that went really quick. Just like that. <laughs> that doesn't usually go that way. No, they're not usually quite that uh, <laughs> quick. But, that was uh, a very easy one. Nice. Into the into the truck she goes, and we'll do another one. Log number two. Most of these will because this is the oldest pile. And they're very dry. Oh, not peeling off as nicely. Well, hopefully, we will make some progress at getting some of these in the ground today. Might be another late night out there. Oh yeah. Keep it going. I'm going to turn it this way this time. I would definitely say though the key to success with this is letting them sit for a long time. We've had some that were fresh cut and getting the bark off is sappy, sticky, and really takes a long time. You can do it, but uh, yeah. As I said, some of these have been sitting for at least a year. We have used cedar rails in some places for bracing, but we've not peeled those. We only have so much energy and so much time. Oh, sorry. 
Look at that, I'm injuring you again. Well, yeah, maybe we'll actually get, we were hoping to have 20 to take back in the truck and get started. We've got, this is number 14. I must have counted that one as two. It's only one. This is 14. I think there's a couple more we took back that we didn't use yet. Yeah, they're at the back by the fence. Anyways, that's pretty much that. So we'll just kind of keep going, I guess. And so this is a good example of sort of why peeling them is a good idea. Um, you can kind of see this one's, I guess, a little was a little damper and it started to kind of rot in the surface there. Uh, not a big deal from using for, as a fence post, but if you put that in the ground and leave the bark on, over time your post is just not going to last as long or as well. But uh, anyways, just one we took out of the pile and thought we would uh, kind of share that. Thanks. That was the longest. That was right from one end to the other. Yep. Sometimes when we're peeling with the kids, we make it a competition to see who can peel off the longest piece. Keeps them motivated. Just going to do a little close-up of the technique, if you can call it that. It's very, very... Uh, I'm going to get you where I can get you. This paper just, if you can't get it off with your fingers, it helps you oh, right to the end. This helps you get in underneath it and you can pop it up. There's probably better ways to do this. But this works for us. <laughs> and it's cheap. A couple yeah. spatulas is only $12. Even if you break one, it doesn't really matter. So, as you can see, we have a lot of logs. There's about 30 in each pile. So, we have a lot more peeling to do, but we also have a lot more fencing to do. Anyway, truck's getting loaded up, so on to the next thing. <laughs>